Okay, so this will be uh, Feel the Feelings and uh, exercise for, for us all to do together. Uh, so the, the best thing to do with the Feel the Feelings is have the eyes uh, closed. And um, feel free to use the observer at the same time if you feel intuitively drawn to do that. But um, I always like to if there, first sense if there's anything in the body going on. Is there any sort of... Um, sensations in the stomach or in the shoulders or in the face or the, or the head area. Any tightness or if there's any sort of uh, feelings, uh, then just allow them, just be, become aware, conscious of those, allow those to be experienced. And if there's, th so let's say for example, there was a feeling of anxiety and there were some thoughts around anxiety and the anxiety was for example located in the stomach area then first thing to do is, um, uh, as the thoughts come in, like I'm anxious about my work, or I'm anxious about my boss, or whatever it is, just let those thoughts go and just be, allow yourself just to experience the feeling. And let's say <clears throat> you thought the feeling was anxiety, but actually anxiety is a label, is putting form, it's putting the label of uh, form onto that sensation. Not even a feeling, it's more like a sensation or vibration. The less you label it, uh, the more it starts to become diffuse and non-limited in experiencing. So as soon as you go, and then if your head goes back into another thought or another story about work, just detach and be back with the sensation. For example, the sensation may be in the stomach area. So you're just allowing that feeling, and as you just allow the feeling, you're just with it, and just uh, also understand that the habitual Thing of the ego is to repress, suppress, and not experience feelings. So in this process of feeling the feelings, you're allowing, you're welcoming, you're almost like coaxing anything that might be hidden to come out so you can fully experience it and release it. The thing to bear in mind is these uh, sensations, if you just allow them to come up and don't, see, each time you're allowing a sensation or a feeling to come up, each time you go into a thought, and say, oh, I'm, I'm actually anxious because my boss is not nice and I'm anxious because the company, the, my colleagues are incompetent. As soon as you're going into thoughts and allowing the, uh, the identification with thoughts and stories and sentences to go on, you're actually resisting the feeling. You see, you're distracting from the feeling and you're resisting. So the process becomes, shall we say, less efficient at releasing the repressed garbage. Uh, of the ego, that's uh, that's there. So, just allow this and say, so there's there's some maybe there's something in the stomach. Just allow it, welcome it, and then su suddenly you might go into a thought. Detach as soon as you're into a thought. Try and detach and just be with the feeling. Another thought emerges. Detach, be with the feeling. So you're just allowing you're just allowing that sensation. It's not even a you. There's no you who's allowing it. So if there's any background supervisor or any little person in the background trying to say you're doing it right or wrong or you're not doing it properly or you are doing it, but just let that go as well. So just allow what is coming up to be coming up without you trying to orchestrate or organize or do the process perfectly. That's not required. It'll, it just happens spontaneously, intuitively. It doesn't need thinking, doesn't need a background supervisor doing it. Just allow these things just to be and then to gently release even the, even the stomach is a, is, a, is a location, it's a label. You can let that go. There is no such thing as a labeling location. So as you allow these things, they'll start to dissipate. Because you're not resisting, these sensations will start to evaporate or become non-local, or start to lose their tightness. And as they do, you might become aware of different things in different places, and just allow those sensations to just be experienced and then to dissolve. So it might come up in layers of uh, dissolving as another layer of sensations comes up and you release that and then another layer comes up and you release that and they may become more and more subtle. If you go back into your head, back into the thoughts, just detach, just allow everything. As you start to go, if there's nothing left, you might start to get into these more non-local, non-dual experiences of just peace, stillness or oneness or no, no sense of any sensations or thoughts. 
um, going on and then just rest in that or if suddenly another waft of energy of feeling sensations comes up just allow that to be experienced and dissolve if suddenly a thought emerges and there's identification or attachment with the story just unhook and just uh, release that momentum to pick up thoughts until you get into these uh, still silent places without any sensations or energies um, that are uh, interrupting these more uh, spiritual states. So we'll do this now for about uh, five or ten minutes and then uh, we'll stop.